All right, guys, it is time to take on the team that stole, absolutely robbed the President's Trophy away from us. They also happen to be in our division. The LA Kings, they finished 6-3-1, and and with a total of 53 Ws in the season. And, of course, we had our weak last 10 finish because that's just how we do. Um, so, yeah, this is going to be a tough battle for sure. And it is basically... Uh, not basically, it is the first and second place team in the NHL going head-to-head -head here in round two. So here are your Houston Hammerheads. We've got Lysel now up to 81 overall. He actually went up one. Nice. Uh, Barzal and Raymond. Okay, and then we've got Zadina, Newhook, and Boss. Moore, McLeod, Olofsson, Verona, Lundestrom, and Kapari. Just want to check the AHL quick. Max Jones. Okay. Okay. All right, never mind. Uh, let's go to the defensemen. We got Miro and Bouchard, Kavanov, Sergachev, Lajoie, and listen, Yuri. And then in net, we have Teal and Joel backing him up. Okay, nothing has changed here. I mean, maybe the formation of the lines a little bit, but they were the same for at least the second half of last video. So let's see what makes LA so special. Why are they so incredible at hockey? We're about to find out. All of our questions are about to be answered. So they got Jonathan Drouin, Thomas Hurdle, and then Joachim Kamel. All right. Yeah. I mean, that's a good first line. It's not crazy or anything, but it's good. Then they got Jimmy, Alex Turcotte, and Isaiah LeClaire. Okay. So that is a very good second line. Yeah. That's uh, almost as good as our second line. They got Connor Brown who is a Houston Hammerheads legend, playing with Nelson and Murray Thompson. Then they got JVR, Byfield, and Stapleton on their fourth line. So they got a lot of center depth. Playing Byfield on the fourth line is questionable, to say the least, but regardless, he is there. And there you have it. All right. Nice. So they do have a pretty good offense, but I think it is beatable. Defensively, they've got Graves and Clark, Spurgeon. Yeah, like their defense isn't that good. I don't understand why this team did so well. I really don't. They gotta have a good goalie, right? No! Like, what the heck, man? I don't get it. This game makes no sense to me. I mean, their team's good, sure, but... There's definitely better teams. Well, anyway, here we go. Playoffs, round two. LA Kings, Houston Hammerheads. First and second place in the league going head-to-head. -head. Let's do this thing. I don't know why I went into there. I meant to go to here. Yep. And simulate. Alrighty then. First period. Nice start. Boss gets one. Second. 2-1. So we got a power play goal from Newhook. And they got a goal from their fourth liner, JVR. So we're up by one heading into period three here. But I'm assuming that doesn't mean a whole lot. Shots are even. Basically deadlocked actually. But no goals yet in this third period. Power play for Houston. No capitalization, but it doesn't matter. Managed to hold on to a 2-1 victory. Great performance from Teal there. 29 saves on the night. And that is your three stars of the game. Yeah, the goalies really stole that one. For sure. All right, so that's a good start. We are up 1-0 in this series. Let's get going with game number two. Yes, please. And here we go. First period. 1-1. One, one. Second period will be a 2-2. Two, two. We are tied going into period three. Boss with another goal. And he gets another one. Look at this guy go. A power play goal for Boss. Elliot Moose is on the loose in this series. He's really coming out to play this time around. Love to see it. All right. We managed to kill off that power play. Now we have a power play of our own. Not able to capitalize. But Verona will score after the power play. Oh no. Byers puts one in. Keeps his team alive. But it... Doesn't matter. The Houston Hammerheads managed to keep that uh, one goal lead there. Even though there was probably a lot of pressure coming in. And that will do it for game number two. Puts the Houston Hammerheads up by two. We got uh, just over point a game for Barzal still. But we are really getting contributions from all over the team right now. This is great. Alright, game three. If we win this, that is massive. Absolutely massive. First period. one nothing for the Kings. Second. It is... 3-2, what a second period from your Houston Hammerheads. They got a power play goal from LeClaire, but we got two goals back-to-back -back 
from Newhook. And then we got one from Vrana again. That guy is just a goal scoring machine right now. All right, here we go. Third period, we are up by one. And we could be up 3-0 in the series if we manage to win this one. I mean, their goalie is now playing stupendous right now. We have 22 shots and three goals. Teal playing very well so far in this series. He has been the highlight, if I'm going to be honest. 42 shots from the LA Kings. And we will manage to hold on again. A goalless third period. Yet again, a 3-2 victory. And we are up 3-0 in the series. That is incredible. All right. I don't want to get my hopes up, but things are looking real good here. Real good indeed. All right. Game number four. Let's do this thing. Yes, please. First period is 1-0 for the Hammerheads. Second period. All right. 2-2. Two, two. Heading into period three, we have a tie game here. And again, the LA Kings season is on the line. Did they finally meet their match here? Are they outmatched by the Houston Hammerheads? It just might be so. Sergachev buries one halfway through the third period. That will put the Houston Hammerheads up by one. Will they hold on to it is the question. Things are looking good. Oh no, Stapleton prevents his team from being sweeped. Swept. <laughs> no! Hurdle puts one in in overtime. Oh man, that is devastating. Okay. That was brutal. I'm not even speaking English today. I mean, I normally don't anyway, but this is really bad right now. I just can't get my words out properly. But regardless, the LA Kings absolutely hang on by a thread. And they are still alive in this one, but it is 3-1. They got a lot of work to do here. Will they be able to do it? Hopefully not. Game number five. First period. 1-0. Good guys. Second period. 1-1. One, one. Tie game going into three. Let's do this thing. All right. Big goal from Zadina there. I feel like he hasn't really been scoring a lot. So that's nice to see him show up. And another goal. Miro's going to put one in. That gives the Houston Hammerheads an insurance marker, baby. Your favorite saying. Everyone loves when I say insurance marker. Nelson will put his team back by only one now. But the Houston Hammerheads hold on to the lead. And they put out the LA Kings in convincing fashion. It only took five games. What a performance from your Hammerheads in that one. And we are moving on to the conference finals yet again here. Who will we be playing in the conference finals? It's going to be... Oh, that is the AHL team. They are ripping it up down there. Stop the simulation. It's going to be the Chicago Blackhawks who finished with 44 W's and 6, 4, and 0. Oh. All right. Well, that was quite the victory for the Houston Hammerheads there, to say the least. Let's have a look at the stats again just to see how everyone's doing. Player stats. I kind of want to look at the AHL too just to see if they are actually ripping it up or not. Uh, Elliot Moose on the loose. He really recovered in that series. He came back. He got 10 points now. Which is nice. Barzal with 12. Bouchard with 9. Look at this guy go. Uh, Miro with 9. And then we also have Zadina with 9. Raymond with 8. Olison with 7. He is doing well for a depth player. Newhook is finally showing up. Which is good to see. Sergachev doing well. Verona 6 goals. This guy is putting pucks in the net. And then we still have none from these guys. Lysel now has 2. And yeah. That's uh, pretty decent. More actually has 4. Which is nice. Okay, what about goaltending? Obviously, he did very well in that series. Yeah, 919, 251. Esteban Teal. Esteban Teal. Could be either or, really, but yeah, he's doing very well. All right, well, it is time for the conference finals yet again. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie. I am nervous because it historically has not worked out very good for us, but you know what? I think this is the team. I think this is the one. We're going to do it. We are going to do it. I will see you guys in the next video where we take on Chicago in the conference finals of the year eight Stanley Cup playoffs. Let's go Hammerheads.